Hey, look at this. Everything, everything's working. It, I think, I think everything is working and we are live. Hello, everybody watching this. It's been like a year since I've streamed anything. This is, uh, this is wild and I've probably made mistakes. Uh, hello, I'm Sean and, uh, this is Forbidden Lands and like normal, we're coming in like three sessions in to a campaign because that's how that's how I get asked to uh <laughs> to stream things <laughs> like after we're already going uh and and we're already we're already losing players it's uh things are, <laughs> things are crazy there we go there we go there we go you're back you're back uh <clears throat> oh no and and uh right away we ran into the problem of people dropping out and then Getting, coming back in and getting shuffled and getting and getting yeah. shuffled around now now matt and josh are uh <laughs> are i mean halflings and goblins you know how. so now be. josh just needs to pause his camera and turn it back on and then you guys should yeah hold ready. on one second yeah yeah, yeah. We're, we're gonna we're gonna try and fix this uh and then i'll actually get get serious about streaming because you know how i like to take my my <laughs> uh my role-playing games super seriously uh, that's that's how we do things here. Work everything out live. Uh, is that a goblin ride that rides things, or someone that rides goblins? Uh, it's it's not that kind of game. <laughs> so it is a goblin. What rides things? Uh, I'm I'm going to fix <laughs> Matt and Josh's faces. That's quick. a different stream. Forbidden Lands After Dark. That's right. Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, hang on, it's gonna get weird here for a second. It's so weird. Number one. Number two. <laughs> Could you make a character that was a goblin that rides around on another goblin? <laughs> Can I, should I make two goblins and have them ride on each other? Or could I make a goblin that just specifically has to ride on another party member without their you know yeah. agreement to it that, awesome that if gets... i roll if i use my willpower to get that free s stealth success can i climb on top of uh neil's orc and ride him for the rest of the game without him knowing all right all right i think i think we're good are we good we're good we are absolutely good all right so technical issues aside uh welcome welcome to uh Welcome to the Forbidden Lands game. Uh, I have I have a spiel. I wrote a spiel. Uh, that's not true. I wrote notes for a spiel that I'm going to do right now. Uh, <clears throat> for anybody who does not know, Forbidden Lands is a uh, kind of it's kind of an old school like OSR feel, but like the mechanics are not super OSR. Uh, it 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 feels a lot like a lot of other games that I like, like Torchbearer is kind of the immediate thing uh, that I think of, uh, which makes it pretty great. Um, also, it is a it is a, a hex crawl survival thing, which is totally my jam, uh, which is why I'm playing it, because I love this kind of BS. Uh, so, it is in the game, the year 1165 after the shift, when the gods separated the lands and gave the lands to the south to the humans uh, and and saved uh, saved a, a, a place called the Ravenland for the elves and dwarves and orcs and halflings that already lived there. Uh, of course, things did not stay that way. People people migrated, so now there are half elves uh, living in in kind of both areas of the world. Uh, 300 years ago, a, a crimson mist called the blood mist, uh, permeated the land. Uh, it was, it was deadly and it, and it caused people to, to cloister in their villages and never come out. Uh, and so for 300 years, people lost touch with, with each other, uh, places once mighty fell to ruin. Uh, very few were able to travel freely. Uh, between between places during this time, but five years ago, the the blood mist dissipated, uh, 
it is now 1165 and people are starting to kind of reemerge from uh, from their homes and and villages and kind of re-explore the world and and find uh, you know rediscover like legends and treasures that were that were left uh, in the past um, this group comes from a small village called crossing uh, which had been taken over by bandits uh, a couple of years before before we begin one of them uh, one of ours was a was a bandit themselves uh, but two days ago uh, this this group of four people decided to to leave their home uh, and and strike out on the road to adventure uh, they they discovered the legend of an old cast or a, an old tower uh, that sits along the river to the south of their village uh, they have they have made one foray into it uh, and nobody died uh, <laughs> but the but the bridge they crossed to to get there has crumbled stranding them on the uh, on the, the far side of the river uh, from where they came uh, who are these people that is the question that you're probably all asking yourselves right now. Uh, and I will turn it over to the lovely folks at my table to uh, introduce themselves, starting with uh, Josh. Could you introduce yourself and tell us who you're playing? Ah, okay. Uh, well, I'm Josh, and I'm playing a uh, goblin writer, and his name is Nissel. Uh, he is uh, age 26. I don't think he really pays attention to his age that much, though. Uh, and uh, he rides a wolf by the name of Cloud, uh, and uh, he's he's not the the most uh, polite or well mannered, but uh, he cares a lot for his his pack. So he's not the worst goblin. <laughs> he's he's not the worst goblin. That is he's not the worst goblin, which still makes him pretty bad, I guess, by some standards. I but mean, he's not the worst goblin. Right, right. Now I'm curious as to who the worst goblin would be. <laughs> Oh, he, he, he'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the worst goblin. That guy over there, he sucks. He's uh, also developed a real hatred for birds lately. <laughs> nice. Uh, Matt, would you mind introducing yourself and your character? Yeah, I'm Matt. I'm playing Arland Quickrose, the uh, halfling minstrel. Um, I uh, I prefer goblins, actually. Missiles, Missiles uh, my good friend, uh, because... Um, at least they're honest. Halflings in this uh, uh, world are kind of just uh, lying assholes. They they present this cheery, rosy, nice facade, and they're just horrible, horrible people behind closed doors. And that's why he prefers the company of goblins and now in work. Um, he is also a chef. Uh, he likes to sing songs about his friend Nissel, uh, and I guess Umlaut a little bit. But not, he's, he's not as big a fan of Goomlaut as he is of Nissel. Uh, and uh, he likes to break himself on skill rolls. And uh, last session, we ended with him uh, uh, <laughs> failing miserably a check to go find some, some food, forage some food. And now he's covered in leeches and his strength <laughs> is zero and he can't do anything. So, yeah. Ah, uh, this, this, this is why this is my game. <laughs> <laughs> uh last last but not least uh neil hello i am neil i'm playing an orc named umlaut um he was kind of an outsider he was unusually uh intelligent and that made him weird um among his uh his crew that he grew up with um and so uh you know he was interested in uh things outside of orc society um so he took an interest in some human things, um, which also didn't make him very popular with the other orcs because they all hate humans a lot. Um, but uh, Umlaut felt like they might have some things to offer. Um, and so he joined up with this band of bandits and, uh, you know, took his orc experiences and knowledge and uh, abilities and uh, picked up a few human things too, uh, specifically uh, the arcane ways um and so that uh that's who he is and he just ended up going along with uh with arland and nissel um just be 
for something to do. Um, the bandits had been in the, the town for a while and uh, Umlaut was starting to feel stagnant and uh, wanted to continue to explore and learn and check things out. Right. He didn't feel bad being a bandit. He felt stagnant. That's why he wanted to adventure. <laughs> yeah, he didn't know. He did well, not feel bad. Yeah. No. I, I, I really appreciate uh, that everybody has made choices in their life. <laughs> okay. and uh we'll, we'll see how we'll see how those those choices uh worked out uh also i could i could see my my mic peeking out uh all right so uh so that is that is who we are traveling with uh and now it is the fourth of spring rise uh it is the last or I guess it would be the end of the third quarter of the day. It's raining. Uh, the sun is setting beyond the mountains to the west. Uh, and Arland should have been back by now. Uh, and so with that, uh, I am going to switch us. And for my broken brain, let me recall, was I resting last time we left because of the poison effect? Yes. Still? Okay. That's what yes. I'm so, uh, <clears throat> Nissel always takes first watch or no first sleep and then yeah, takes second yeah. watch. <laughs> yeah. Mostly because nobody's there to tell him he's not doing what he should be doing other than the wolf who doesn't seem to care. Right. Uh, I'm I'm really amused right now because I can I can look over and see uh see on the map kind of kind of where oh, that's a token that shouldn't be there. I was gonna say I am far away. <laughs> uh everybody should be. Right right here. Hey Sean. Yeah. I am only seeing uh the red tower hex. Uh let me let me fix that very quickly. Do 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 there was some there were oh, some hiccups, oh and uh, and we lost some fog of war. That's okay. So that I like watching it, the the map emerge. Right. right. Thank you. That's cool. There we go. Uh, <clears throat> cool. That that should be that should be accurate uh, to what what everybody sees. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yep rad uh so yeah this is this is two days of travel uh south along the river from uh from the village of crossing uh it it's the third the third quarter of the day uh and and nissel has rested and recovered umlaut you have you have finished setting camp correct yep uh and uh and poor arland uh went went looking for some vegetables and just never returned. So what is everybody doing with the fourth <laughs> quarter of the day now? I mean, I know what I'm doing or not doing. <laughs> so uh, Neil, yeah. you have something so, in mind? Yeah, I'll, uh, I, I go over to, to Nissel and nudge him awake. Uh, Nissel, yeah, stirs up. Uh, um, Nissel nestles in with Cloud in a tight little two-person dog pile. So they both arise yeah. at the same time, grumpily. <laughs> the other one went looking for food and never came back. Uh, Nissel looks around, confused. Well, who's the other one? The other small one. Arland? <laughs> uh... I guess Nissel would probably uh, stand up at this point and uh, definitely appear to look uh, for Arland uh, in the vi close vicinity of the camp, uh, but has no idea necessary direction which way he went since he passed out before. Yeah, because you, you've been asleep for like the last six hours, right? Yeah, he was really messed up from that poison situation. <laughs> yeah, so so you and and Cloud both uh, are are kind of are kind of like you wake up and you're fine your your stats have have uh have reset uh because right. because you got the the opportunity to rest uh 
but yeah, like like you wake up and it's it's one of those things where like you can just feel it in your muscles, like the 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 poison from the uh, the plant that attacked you last time. It like it, it there's that lingering feeling still there. Plants and birds. Nissel hates plants and birds now. <laughs> plants and birds are the worst. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, um. Umlaut just remembered how good both of you are at scouting. <laughs> I mean, I'm so good, that's why I'm not back yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Umlaut is exhausted after the fight with the vine. Like, Umlaut is wiped the F out and is just like looking longingly at the camp that he just spent a quarter of a day setting up, realizing that he's not going to get to use it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, Nissa's gonna, uh, he's gonna actually start to mount up on Cloud, but then he'll, he'll, uh, turn to Umlaut. Uh, I, I don't know which way to go. Let's go. It's better than having to go find both of you later. Awesome. So, so you're, uh, it, it sounds like you're working together to, to try and track, uh, to track him down. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, that is a, that's a, that's a, that's a very, uh, very interesting thing. Uh, meanwhile, Arlen. Wait. So, uh, so, so I think, I think you probably, uh, come to like just barely. Like you're, trying you're... to stand and walk and just like keep slipping and falling and, and yeah and... yeah and like like the <laughs> sun was still up when you came out here uh so so you awaken to nothing but like but like moonlight oh, well not even moonlight overhead because it's raining right like uh it's it's horribly uncomfortable uh and you just feel like weak as hell uh uh, I look. I look down at my legs. Am I still covered with uh, leeches? There's a there's a handful uh, of them still on you, and they're I, like, and they're fat. Weakly start popping them off. Yeah. Them off. Yeah. It do, it like it doesn't take any any effort, but you can feel like you've just kind of been just been drained, uh, and you're and you're exhausted. Um, Hope you had a good meal. I say as I start like kind of tossing them just away from me. It, <laughs> Uh, what what are you what are you going to do while they're looking for you? Because I'm gonna have everybody's gonna be making some rolls here pretty soon. Um, as a broken individual, I can crawl and mutter, but I can't really make any checks. Though, in a, if if they don't get to me in a D6 hours, I get one point back. Right, right. Um, but after I get that off and I kind of sit and feel sorry for myself for a second, I kind of stand up and and try to walk, but again, I get stumbling and falling and and just like cr basically crawling back to towards camp from where it came from. Nice, nice. Uh, all right, so uh, so Nissel and Umlaut, uh, the two of you are are, are uh, like searching around in the dark trying to find the halfling's trail, right? Uh, who's who's taking the lead, who's helping, and what does this look like? Oh, I'm definitely the helper here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm I'm just like, you know, walking around looking like I normally would, you know, I've got some tracking skills, uh, having been a band, you know, a member of the bandits and stuff like that. So and I, I read in books and stuff <laughs> because Umlaut is secretly a nerd. That's right. <laughs> Everybody um, knows that book learning is how you learn how to track. Is, for sure. Yeah. He like read all about it, like got all of the knowledge out of the book and then went out and did it because that's how everything always works. Nice. nice. Um, so yeah, yeah. That he's he's looking for like you know little footprints or little indications of Arlen. Gotcha. Uh, so it it is it is dark out here. Um, I believe I believe Nissel is the only about one that, part. that can see yeah. in the dark. <laughs> uh, so well, it's uh, going to be easy for you to help. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be so good at helping for once. Uh, uh, and right. I and I assume that the uh, the montage is Nissel and cloud like every which direction but umlaut's direction just all around him looking every nook and cranny but not actually maybe 
looking the way that they should be looking. Right, right. But they're checking every corner that he's not looking at. <laughs> Just in case. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Trying to get a scent in the rain. Mm -hmm. uh, or following a squirrel or something. Yeah. Yeah. I, I imagined you have an incredibly disciplined wolf, much like your incredibly <laughs> yes, disciplined dog. Yes. Uh, yeah. Rad. So it, I, I think, uh, I didn't, I didn't look up the actual, uh, penalties. Uh, I'm going to say, uh, uh, umlaut, if you're, if you're rolling, it's going to be a scout roll, uh, at probably at minus one. I think you normally think get minus, minus two one for being section. like in the dark, uh, it, it, you're getting help ish. So, <laughs> so it's only half the penalty. Makes sense. All right, so it's a minus one, and that goes in the modifier box. Yes. So I can just type negative one. Yep. You get the same amount of help, help as as missile's height is. <laughs> just a half. Little All thing. right. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to see because I don't have the chat pop that. All right, here we go. Hmm. <sighs> Nothing. Uh. You. Uh, That's unfortunate. Yeah. I think, I think, uh, you, uh this is uh, how it starts. <laughs> this, this is how it starts. Uh, come on, baby. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so, so, so what's the, what, what does it look like when you push yourself? How does that, how does that happen? Um, I guess he's just like really straining his eyes. Like Umlaut's like looking around and then he like gets down on all fours and starts crawling and he like, sees this little tiny like indent in the mud and he recognizes it as, as one of uh, Arlen's tiny feet. Nice. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so eventually like you, you, you managed to, to, uh, find what was probably a small stream, like, you know, a few hours ago, uh, but has now like the rain has has caused it to to kind of overflow its banks. It's not like rapids or anything like that. Uh, it's just it's just made everything like gross and uncomfortable. Uh, and and in the dark, you can see something moving around and and like occasionally falling. Uh, and uh, Arlen, like, did you travel out here with like all of your stuff, or did you leave anything in camp? Um, I would have left my. Um... Uh, 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 my field kitchen back in the camp. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, and and probably my and probably my lyre, my musical instrument. Didn't need to take that with me. Right. So right. I basically got a knife with me. A knife. Uh, and I imagine like maybe your backpack or something, something to like. Yeah. Because you yeah, came out looking for for food. Like you got to have something to carry that around in, yeah. right? <laughs> so yeah, it's just kind of like you haven't let go of it. <laughs> uh. But but also it's made it it's made it hard to like get your feet. But yeah, you you see him fumbling about in the dark. All right. I uh, just turn. I just turn to uh, to Nissel and point there. Bring him back to camp and just turn around and start walking back. Yeah, and Nissel and Cloud would take off then. And uh, probably try to get there as quickly as possible, so if it, especially if he appeared injured. Yeah, yeah. Are, are you like, are you loading Arlen up like on the back of the wolf, so it's carrying? Yeah, if two he get or... once once Nissel arrived, he would yeah he would he would switch spots. He would jump off Cloud and put Arlen up there instead. Okay, rad. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I don't I don't think that there's uh, I don't think there's any any tests there. Uh, like you 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 are able to to kind of get him up and and secured on the back of on the back of cloud uh and and as uh as you're as you're kind of like collecting your halfling um <laughs> you uh you hear that that same like like chuffing and and growling uh there's there's almost there's almost like a weird like humanish quality to it uh it, it's it's half like animalistic growl or howl and and part like angry scream coming from the red tower uh in that direction uh 
it's it's hard to it's hard to know like how close it is because it's hard to d judge distance in uh like in the space and with like you know sounds sounds echo and and yeah. bounce off of things weirdly uh what uh what do you do uh Nissel, i need your help what I'm rhymes trying with, to help you <laughs> what what rhymes with harry I, Missile is stumped. <laughs> Missile stands there like a stone statue. <laughs> Slack jawed. Uh, Cloud probably knows the answer, but Missile has no idea. I need to perfect my Minotaur song. <laughs> oh, this yes. There better not be a fucking Minotaur. <laughs> uh, for, <laughs> they, uh, they did, in fact, run into a Minotaur uh, a day or so ago. Uh, it, is, it is now dead. Thus, I'm working on my song, Markut the Miserable Minotaur. Oh, that's a good song. It is. Uh, <laughs> a very shiny axe. <laughs> <laughs> um, we should have taken that axe. Who's going to, I guess Umlaut could have carried the axe. What uh, What are you doing? Well, I mean, uh, our, our, again. well, uh, yeah. Uh, Nissel's ears would like just fold back, same with clouds, both tucked back against their, their you know, heads and uh, they get real low, as low as they possibly can. And instead of running back to camp, they're now going to uh, try to move as quickly and quietly as possible. Okay. Not so just you, outright running, though. So so the, so the two of you are, uh, well, I guess technically the three of you, you, the wolf, and and the halfling are yeah. are sneaking. Uh, Attempting some? Yep. Well, I'm, I'm draped over a wolf's back, I imagine. Y you are being so snuck. They're talking. You are... <laughs> I am being snuck. You are. There we go. <laughs> You're sneaking in the passive voice. Um, <laughs> I'm being, I'm, I'm being, I'm contraband. I'm being smuggled. <laughs> <laughs> I think those people are smuggling a halfling. <laughs> uh, cool. Uh, what is, what is Umlaut going to be doing? He just keeps like tr trudging, like stomping back toward camp. Nice. Okay. Uh, Umlaut still has the sullen status. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. Um, Umlaut. Umlaut got broken. Uh, How long do you have that for? Like four, three, three or four days? Three days. Three so days. Yeah. yeah. He just like whatever to that sound is just like you know something else that's gonna get in the way of me getting a good damn night's sleep. Yeah. Uh, that's right. He set the camp up just to take it. To yeah. Yeah. Because this is all happening in the third quarter of the day, uh, which means which means that that uh, that getting getting a good rest tonight is. Uh, is, is out of the question, except for Nissel. Nissel yeah, and I'm Cloud good. got rested, so they're all fine. I mean, we could just take another extra quarter of the day to do it all if we need to. Sure, sure, yeah. Uh, so, uh, so, so Nissel, uh, would you, would you, uh, since, since you're you're trying to to sneak quietly back to camp and avoid whatever beast is is hunting you out here. Yeah. Uh, would you, would you please? Uh, it, that sounds like that sounds like stealth, to me. Yes. Yes, it does. Hmm. That's not what I wanted. Uh. So, so, I think. Uh, I think as it as it stands right now, uh, like you're you're trying to be you're trying to be stealthy, but like. That the halfling's weight. He's not, he's not significantly heavier than you, but his weight is different enough on on the back of of uh, of the wolf, right? Like, yeah, he's not exactly riding either. He's just kind of draped over it, which yeah. probably isn't the most comfortable. And and I, I think Arlen just you know he probably talks a lot. <laughs> he's just hanging out talking. He's mumbling. Just he's just like oh, just mumbling. Just, yeah. uh, blood loss is a heck of a drug, you know. It really right. yeah. yeah. just right. It's it's pretty much the worst, uh, except for except for goblins. Um, <laughs> so uh, you have you have the option uh, to push if you would like. I do. I could also spend a willpower point or you here could spend and a willpower an and just automatically succeed. And I think I'd like to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and mark off a willpower point. I cool. only had two. Now I have one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? Uh, what's it? What? What does that look like when you, when you? 
Uh, I would say, oh, so um, noticing Nissel notices that uh, Arlen maybe is kind of slipping and falling off there and it's not the best setup and Cloud is frustrated. Uh, Nissel's going to uh, remove, this is going to sound bad for a second, but just trust the goblin. He's going to remove Arlen's belt. <laughs> to use that belt to fasten him to the pack of Cloud tightly. <laughs> and uh, and then he's going to stay by Cloud's uh, uh, head and just kind of pull him down a little bit lower. And they're just gonna get real, real, real low, real low. Uh, and uh, yeah, they're they just trying to fasten Arlen down and make sure that maybe this, him being more secure on there will help Cloud be more quiet. Nice. Uh, and, and get them through this this nasty spot. Cool, cool. Depending on where you put that belt, uh, that's how they make bulls buck in the rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, this will definitely uh, glances over at that spot and is like, well, this would be fun, but now he goes with the serious shit for once. That is, uh, that is one hundred percent true. That is how they get bulls to buck. Yeah. Uh, cool. So, uh, so, so umlaut. Uh, you're you're just you're just you're just trudging along. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You hear this thing. Uh, it is it is much louder, and and the only conclusion is that it is also closer. Uh, the like. The sounds of of like the the woods and hills about the about the river uh, where you're where you're walking uh, are are strangely quiet in the in the aftermath of it. Uh, what would what would you like to do? I mean, I'll look I'll look around to see if I can see anything. Okay. Uh. Cool. Yeah. Uh. You, you want to make a you want to make a scout roll? Uh, sure. Do you, do you have a like? Are you gonna light a torch or are you just gonna? I I didn't bring one with me. Oh, uh, I left them all back at the camp. I was just gonna go get the halfling and come back and thought that's all we were doing. <laughs> it's supposed to be a short trip. Yeah, I mean, I did bring the spear at least. Thank goodness. Yeah. Uh, but that's that's uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, it could be a short trip. <laughs> <laughs> We'll see how long this stream goes where we're actually playing and, and whether or not it's going to turn into a character generation session. <laughs> uh, I, I kid. I kid. Kind of. Uh, cool. Uh, that sounds like a that sounds like a scout at uh, minus two because of the darkness. Hmm. Hmm. That doesn't leave me with a lot of dice with which it to feel get, good, does it? No. <laughs> with which to have anything positive happen. I just mm. want to mention, Neil, that uh, Nissel cannot pick you up and put you on the back of Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> huh. I am not going to see anything no matter what happens because I've got <laughs> one die and I have to roll a six. So I'm feeling like maybe not on that. I think I'm just going to pick up the pace. You're just going to pick up the pace? Yep. Cool. Cool. Uh, how, how about How about a move? Yeah, I want to move. All right, where is move? That would be under agility. All right, no penalties on that, right? Please. Uh, ooh, that's a good Maybe question. It's raining really hard. I think, moving, right? moving <laughs> in the dark is the question here. Uh, let's see. Just uh. <laughs> This is look, I'm I'm not gonna lie, this is also one of my favorite things about this game where it's just like bad option A or bad option B. <laughs> oh yeah. So many I love the bad options. It's more bad options. I I I feel like uh I I feel like they just like they just made a game uh specifically for me. <laughs> Personally, right? Uh, uh yeah. Well, uh, I'm gonna say, uh, no penalty, but like, you're 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 still doing it in the dark, right? So like, right. failure is probably going to be rough. Given the number of dice I have to roll, that's probably also very likely. Here we go. Two. 
Oh, <laughs> so good. So, so it's a so it's a fail. You have the option to push if you would like like to. You can hear things off in the trees. You you know you'll get one one point of damage to agility. Yep. yep. All right. Well, that uh, that did not go quite the way I might have hoped. Uh, so be before we go, uh, this is actually something because I haven't had a chance to test since they updated the system. Uh, it says one damage applied to agility, which is what it should do. Did that did automatically it? do that? Automatic? Yep. Oh, yeah, oh, that's nice. rad. Uh, cool. So. Uh, oh, God. You get a willpower point, don't forget. Oh, oh. Oh, that's, that's good. <laughs> that's helpful. You do. Uh, can, can you spend a willpower after you've... Oh. <gasps> What what is your pride? Oh shit! By, by the my way. pride, yeah, uh, is I think it's something about uh, anybody who threatens me. Whoever threatens my life will die a horrible death. <laughs> I, I didn't. I didn't mean to roll <laughs> that. I mean, I was just trying to add one to my willpower and accidentally used one, but I'm pretty <laughs> satisfied with the results. <laughs> Uh, yeah, like if you could, if you can tell me how how your your pride applies here, like it's totally fine. I I just like I don't have a pride right now. You're prideless. Um, how it applies to trying to run back to camp? Yeah. Yeah. No, it it just doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's fair. It doesn't work that way. It just doesn't like. <laughs> If you threaten my life, I'll murder you. And running away seem like fairly opposite ideas. That's uh, that's fair. I'm just gonna delete that role. Maybe you're running to get a torch so you can go kill him. <laughs> right, I'm gonna need a torch. I'm gonna In get a one torch. Second, dude, Come I'm gonna back be there for you. One second. Uh, Hang on. All right. Cool. So you're by yourself when a large, furry mass of something, uh like crashes through the underbrush it is it is dark uh but you can you can see the the uh the flash of like glowing scarlet eyes uh hmm. this thing is is uh it's it's hulking and it's on four legs uh and and in what little light is still like just peeking over from the west uh you can see in silhouette uh, a, a, like, a tail, like, waving up behind it, and, and, uh, it is, it is covered in spikes. Uh, wow. What? Sonic! Oh, if Sam was watching right now. Oh. Goddamn manacores. <laughs> so, so, is side it a note. Manticore? Side note. Yeah. Uh, when I, when I, rolled up the uh the 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 red tower uh because everything's random i rolled and it said oh nobody lives here now but a monster has moved in and so i rolled on the table and guess what i rolled manticore, rolled manticore? <laughs> it is definitely a manticore and i definitely already like immediately messaged our friend sam to inform him <laughs> well he already knows okay cool <laughs> i was in the middle of trying to tell him so, uh, so yeah, uh, Umlaut, uh, good times is, is, uh, is, is facing an, an angry manticore. At least you have Nissel's spear. You'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> dang. So, uh, so meanwhile, back at camp, uh, <laughs> back at camp, back, back at, back at camp. Uh, how long did that take by the way? Not long. This is this is this is only a few minutes. This is all happening in the same in the same okay. quarter of the day, right? Uh, so uh, it's like one one thing kind of kind of after another, like like the the goblin and the wolf like take off, and there's you know a little bit of time of umlaut like navigating uh, before before this thing like uh, uh, I'll 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 look at Nissel and oh Nissel's gone. Oh, I'm still there. Is. I'll look at Nissel. You, you faded out with your background. I couldn't see it. Oh, okay. And I'll be like, do, do you have like 
bandages or herbs or like a strong drink, something to give me some strength back. And Nissel thinks for a hard moment. And then Nissel spits in his hands and rubs them on your, your owies. And then he's and then he and then he offer and then he tells you to open your mouth. <laughs> he opens <laughs> That is. Uh, that is. Yeah, so this gross. is nothing. He's got nothing. He just rubbed. Yeah, that's what that's what Cloud does for him. So he's like, he just he he licks your wound. <laughs> gross. <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah. He's got nothing. Uh. He says. Um. You're gonna need to hide somewhere. <laughs> We're all gonna need to hide somewhere. But but doesn't Ubao need help? I mean, can we see Umlaut from it? Can I, can I, since you, I can see You can't, can like, you left him, it? you left him behind. Like, even, yeah, even trying he... to sneak, like, you and the wolf are, are, are faster, especially when he was plotting, right? Okay. Uh, so he's probably, like, because you had to move relatively slowly, he's probably not that far behind. Okay. Uh, but, but far enough that, like, you can't see, you can definitely hear things, though. And right? that's, that's from the same direction that, Umlaut's behind us. Yeah. Head. Okay. All right. Um, Nissel's going to uh, uh, unstrap Arlen's belt, tell him to get down. <laughs> Arlen, Arlen will, like, kind of grab your wrist weakly and say, no, no, just here. And, like, I'll, I'll like, tear some cloth off of a tent. I'll just be like, just, just wrap this around my legs. I'll walk you through it. You got to go help Umlaut. Nissel starts to spit on the cloth. Yeah. I, you you can... Wrap it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you, do you want to make you want to make a uh, a healing check? You'll you'll get a you'll get a plus yes. one. Uh, yes, I do. Because <laughs> uh, because you're getting what help Arlen can offer. Although Arlen can't right. actually do anything himself because I was about to say, can I help if I'm broken? It's not like Burning Will where you're trading dice, right? Like you're you're walking him through a uh, un unskilled. I'm assuming you don't have healing. Well, I have zero here. Right, right. <laughs> uh, so, so in this case, you know, I'm I'm trying to be nice here. Thank you. That's you... that's something that doesn't happen often, so I will take it and appreciate it. <laughs> feels weird, Sean. It feels weird. Uh, you, you got well, a you got a six. Uh, that's not bad. That it is it is not bad. Uh, you want to push? Yeah. Maybe, this maybe is this back? is one of the few times where you can like you can push when you've already succeeded because extra You don't successes. have to if you don't want to. I'll take one yeah, and be I'll, happy I'll, with it. Uh, let's do it. Let's try. It. Nice. Well, worked out. It, yeah, that it, it did work out. So, uh Arlen gets two strength points back. Uh you're 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 up on your on your feet. Uh woozy and and like things hurt but i'll i'll, I'll give i'll give Nissel a really big tight hug uh and then i'll i'll grab my knife and i'll say let's go find you love awesome uh uh so so it's like you just slept you're all rested up you're good to go let's go let's do this so if, you, if... <laughs> i mean i'm good to go but i feel like you're still in a real bad way <laughs> i'm Fine. <laughs> you got your bow and arrow still, right? Nissel's, but personally, I mean, Nissel's excited because you're you're feeling ferocious, and Nissel loves this part. <laughs> Nissel's excited that you're ready to get dirty. And get uh, I, I know, I know you're, I know you're waiting here, Neil. But I will, mm -hmm. I promise, I will get. Uh, it's well, fine. I, I'm fine. It's your delaying, death, Neil. Just hang on. Delaying the inevitable. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah, because I, I want to see I want to see how this uh, how this goes. I think uh, I I feel like the the conflict here isn't so much whether or not you can find Umlaut. I think you could follow the noise and Nissel can see in the dark. So like tracking it down isn't a problem. It's getting there in time, right? Uh, I can do this. Is is uh, like that's what what feels like. Uh, is this is this the loudest and the slowest rule kind of thing? If we stick together, the lowest person rolls or no, or, no, okay, no. Uh, I f I feel like I feel like there's a manticore in the equation. Things are stacked against you enough. Like okay, <laughs> you can you can you can describe to me how this how this goes. 
Uh, I'm charging at the at the sounds. All right. Uh, and and uh, Nissel, are you like are you both just like booking it or? Yeah, I got I got to get there as quickly as possible too. So I'm 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 gonna go full blast with Cloud. If if I can get, I mean, yeah. If Arlen seems like he's feeling ferocious, I'm definitely gonna go full blast with Cloud and leave him behind. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, I mean. Oh, go ahead. I, I was I was gonna say, uh, like, like, there's 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 no way that that you won't get there f- before Arlen right. does. Uh, but but I feel like the role is like, are the two of you there, like, before this thing, like, actually, like, pounces, right? Yeah. Uh. So, uh, I think. Uh, this is this is going to be a little bit weird for for uh, for Nissel, um, because because you're a writer and there are special rules for writing animals. Uh, so it, I think what it is is uh, it's animal handling. Uh, We're doing a move move move. It, it, so move move. move this move. is a, a technically a move roll, uh, but because you're writing, it's your animal handling and yeah. the wolf's agility. Correct. Yeah. So while he's gathered those dice, I just gotta say you gotta get there in time because my relationship with the umlaut I just took out of the book is umlaut is doomed. It's only a matter of time. So oh, I, gotta, I gotta push that time back. <laughs> I didn't get to use it yet. Uh, okay. So what's uh, I don't know clouds. Agility. Oh, uh, let me let me like bring that? up your character. Because uh, I would just add that in as a modifier, correct? What's that? Would I add that in as a modifier? No, that would be. Uh, this is what you would use as your base dice. So, uh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so if replace, you need to, uh, there's the uh, the little the little dice roller up at the top of your character sheet that'll let you do custom things. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, let me bring up your character sheet because I think I have him under under gear. I got my annual animal handling already. Oh, put it there in, we so. go. Uh, so, uh, his agility is four. So it's four base dice and your animal handling. Uh, gotcha. and then, and then your modifier is plus one cause you're getting help from, uh, <laughs> from uh, also, also, yes. So many dice. All the things. Uh, all the things. Uh, that one's all you need. You will get there in. Oh, yes. Uh, you 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 actually do succeed, and it, oh, okay, good. It wasn't a uh, like get, getting extra stuff uh, isn't isn't on the table here, right? Uh, <clears throat> so uh, so umlaut. This thing like like crashes out of the out of the underbrush and like and like uh circles around you a couple of times it's its tail like waving menacingly in the air behind it uh when when you hear uh are are, are you guys noisy coming through like is the wolf howling uh, or nissel and, and yeah nissel would be noisier than even cloud at this point uh knowing that umlaut's in direct danger and he's trying to <laughs> <laughs> the goblin you know. and the wolf both howling. Oh yeah, as they yeah, just going bananas as a ride flying <laughs> out of the woods in the dark. Uh, Come on, you giant smelly idiot! Like just yelling, you're trying to draw attention. <laughs> you're like, like and, the and, halflings, like limping, because... <laughs> limping behind us, <laughs> <laughs> cheering us on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it and and you see the you see the beast like hesitate hesitate for a moment and like like it's it's eyes uh dart back and forth like oh shit suddenly there's like you know more than one threat here uh uh before it before it bears its its uh frighteningly many sets of teeth and <laughs> uh and goes and goes to attack uh Woo! which which means i get to do uh let's see where where are we? I think technically we're in plains, correct? Uh, yeah, there are hills for the two. So I'm going to do this. Oop. This is no longer accurate. That's from last time. 
Uh, a miserable minotaur. I think I think I think it's gonna look something like this, uh, and then. Good buddy, the Manticore. Uh, like it's it's still like it it's not within hands hands reach of you, yet. Uh, what is short range? What is short range like in terms of distance? Yes, I think that would be. Isn't that Umlaut's position right now? Uh, so range? so, Umlaut would be would be near. So it would be hands near short range. Gotcha. Oh, sweet, I'm within range. Yeah, so so Arland and Nissel, uh, the two of you, uh, I guess I guess technically. Let me see, let me see if this will, will it not let me just pull it from there. Oh wait. There we go. I really should just make make a. a I'll 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 make a wolf character that you can that you can access. Uh, oh, what, yeah, sure. when I when I have uh, a couple of mom moments uh in the meantime I'll I'll just let you know whatever its stats are when it comes up uh <clears throat> so uh so yeah this is uh this is kind of the 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 situation uh that we that we find ourselves in uh as we open here and I liked it better when you weren't talking about cloud stats because I feel like you're gonna be like oh and now he's dead <laughs> <laughs> now yeah. that he has stats, it's gonna be one of those things. Where <laughs> it's real. As, as soon as well, there's this numbers. Well, this really fucking hates wolves, <laughs> <laughs> or loves them. Yeah. Right. Right. Mmm. Delicious. Is a wolf tastier or less tasty than an orc? That is the question. Uh, all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and it's draw. Nizzle's, it's Nissel's wolf, so it's probably definitely initiative Australia. for the Manticore. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, I totally forgot that this is a this is a thing that I have to do for everybody. I apologize. Draw the cards. Uh, umlaut. Come on. You all got right, six. Right. So you at least go before before it. Yeah, we do we good. do we do reverse just because that's how it puts it up on the screen, right? Yeah, yeah. We go we go from from highest to lowest highest to lowest, lowest yeah. to highest. Uh, yeah. I think I think in a future update, like there's actually something that will let me flip that, so it will be more accurate. I just haven't had time to download it or test it. Uh, and Nissel, uh, Cloud, like <gasps> Cloud goes on yours because you're yeah, you're essentially right. one character. Yeah. Uh, so it's Umlaut, then the Manticore, then Arland, then Nissel. Uh, you have, before we begin, the option of, of switching initiative. Uh, if you switch initiative with me, um, Umlaut, I can taunt it to come after me, and then I can, I have a really good ability to dodge it. Okay. <laughs> if you want. That's I mean, it's not the worst that's idea. Literally, my racial talent is to dodge things. Yeah. It's not the worst idea, and uh, you're further away, so it gives you a little bit of distance. Yeah. So that'll that'll let me. I mean, are, are we going to try to fight this? Or are we trying to get away? Mm. Up to you, man. We're just here to we're just here to save your butt. I would I, I would love to escape this situation. Uh, <laughs> do you want to know what I want to do, or what Nissel wants to do? <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be Minotaur all over again. I was already wiped completely out from the previous combat i'm i mean I'm i wish rocking, i could say i'm sorry i'm rocking a whole lot of ones over here so <laughs> um i i guess arland if you want to uh if you want to draw draw its ire so bust out many, your liar <laughs> randomly how many willpower points do you have do you have enough to do like a really big spell I do, do, do you use a Oh yeah, I could do a really big spell. He's got yeah, he's got a stack of them over there. He only used the 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 rock one last time, right? Yeah. Which but the was... problem is, is that he does a really big spill, and he might also get sucked into hell. <laughs> it, there that is, is that. That is true. That is that is that a sounds like concern. 
Uh, so it looks like we're going Arlen, the Manticore, Umlaut, and then Nissel. I think so. Awesome. So, Arlen, it is your uh, turn. I I pick up I pick up a rock from the ground, and it's not going to hurt. But I just pelt it at it, and I just scream at it. Hey, ugly! What are you doing? You only come out at night so no one sees you. And then uh, I'm going to roll performance to try to taunt him. Okay. <laughs> Umlaut's like. We were looking for you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can, can you can you tell me like how uh, how this works? Okay, so I'm using a slow action to taunt an enemy in combat. Gotcha. The enemy must be within short range and understand my language. So this might modify it. I don't know. It's got a it's got a man's face, so I'm gonna assume it does have a man's we'll face. We'll see. Uh, does it look angry or happy when he says his words? Oh, no. I didn't read this sentence. I cannot taunt monsters or animals. This is definitely a monster. I know. Never mind. I was going to use stun, but it cannot be used on monsters. Uh, So There's a lot of things that can't be done to monsters in this game. What does... (laughs) Is there a rock I can throw to hurt it? (laughs) Do we? Did you, <laughs> I mean, sure. All right. There's I'll, rocks all over the place. You're I'll you're pretty close to the river. It. I'll throw a rock at it. Grab a rock and throw it. Uh, we'll we'll yeah. say it's got it's got uh, one one gear bonus, but it's like one and done, right? Like. Yeah. You can do it. Um. I miss, or... and I'm not gonna push. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it like, like in the, in the dark, it, it goes wide. It like watches, you know, like kind of, kind of jerks to the side as, as the, as the stone sails past. And then Uh, my fast action is to run up a little bit ahead of Umlaut. So I'm kind of between Umlaut and me. Nice. So that's your, your fast and slow action. Uh, I don't think you need to make a, make a move roll to to actually move unless you're getting away from something, right? Yes. Coming up. Uh, <clears throat> awesome. Manticore's turn. Hey, buddy. Oh, God. Uh, what the... Oh, my God. Who was that against? <laughs> what? Uh, so it... it uh, I, I should have... I should have actually done this first. Uh, it is. It is going attacks. to. Uh, you know what? Uh, I mean, it is a monster, and you did not successfully taunt it, but you did throw a rock at it. And I, yeah. Uh, so I think. I think. Uh, oh. It 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 spends its fast action, like. Like. Also, oh, you're like an appetizer before Umla. Yeah. yeah. It, like yeah. it makes a couple of 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 you know, quick steps, uh, and then, and then it is upon you, uh, with its, with its razor short bite. Uh, the manticore has like multiple rows of teeth that are all moving independently of each other. It's like, it, it <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like the xenomorph, but like Sharp the chainsaw kind of mouth. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. They've, they've got chainsaw mouths. Jesus. I'm gonna spend four willpower points <laughs> to escape. Uh, to each willpower point reduces one of those hits. I'm gonna reduce it to zero. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what, okay. what is it? Dance back. Yeah. Uh, are are you? And it's are you just like dan- dancing around as it like tries to? Yeah. Um, and because it's not gonna do anything, it's just color. But like. Since my goal was to taunt it, make it look at me like as I dance fast, I just kind of like slap it on the the side of the snout, you know. <laughs> just smack it right in its man face. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. That's what I like to see. Uh, that's the magic horse turn. Umlaut. Are we running away from this? Are we? Is that even? <laughs> I'm good to run away if we can. All right. Neil, feel free to turn and run. I am not gonna. I'm not gonna <laughs> counter I know, your, but your choices. But Ireland is in danger. I understand he's really up close to the Manticore. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, I don't know. 
Let's shoot rocks at this jerk again. How many more willpower points do you have, uh, Matt, for Arland? Oh, he uh, he had to he had to he had to get up for a second. Oh. No worries. I just want to see how many more times you can escape in case we need him to. <laughs> uh, so so in order to flee from something, uh, mm-hmm. it's a it's a move roll, and you have to like they can't be at arm's length because that means that they're right on top of you. Okay. Right. Okay. So you have to move out to short range and then from there go. Yeah. To okay. To can I move to near or you have to get all the way to short and then roll to escape. Uh yeah, you would have to No, you 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 have you could get to near. Like it just has to has to not be kind of in your range band, right? Okay. So would my slow action be to move one band? Uh so it's actually a fast action to retreat. Okay. Uh That's and uh let me see. Uh, retreat is a move roll, I believe. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm double checking. Yes. I can't. I can't anything. <laughs> What's your agility right now, Neil? One. Oh, good. All of my stats are horribly low, um, but I've got enough empathy to still feel bad about it. <laughs> You're still stoked. Um. Yeah, I, I guess that's what I'm gonna have to try. It's gonna fail. Yeah, and the, and the uh, it's so totally gonna just yeah. just so you know the the way that it works is uh, once you're like once you're at near range or farther, uh, how how far away you are affects your your roll to flee. Okay. So it's a minus one at, at near range. Short is zero. Once you start getting past there, then you actually get bonuses. All right. Well, we'll give it a try. We'll see what happens. All right. Oh, my God. Yeah. Hmm. That's a. Oh, that's one to uh, agility. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Well, you didn't push. Oh no, you didn't. You did yeah, not. Yeah, you push. didn't take a damage yet. Yeah. Uh, oh, good. Yeah. If you push, so so I like just am unsuccessful. Yep. Yeah, it, it's it is in fact unsuccessful. Uh, you uh, <clears throat> be, because it's it's like you and Arland and the Manticore are all like right there. Uh, it it just keeps. Uh, oh my God, we're we're getting raided uh, by six viewers. Hello, people. Uh, <laughs> It's the most viewers I've ever had on one chat or on one stream. Just Excellent. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, like like every time you try and try and uh, uh, like move, the Manticore is just kind of kind of right there blocking your path, and there's rocks okay. and trees uh, around you, and it's just hard to like find an escape route. Uh, so since that was my fast action do i still have you still have your slow action and i can stab things with a slow action you can stab things with your with a slow action well i think i might just give that a shot all right so yeah i've got the spear in my hand i'm gonna try to jam it right in the manticore's face awesome try being the operative word that's Uh, you've you've got a success uh, That's enough. It, it, that lucky Nissel spear. That will hit. Uh, you can push it if you want to try and do more damage. No. <laughs> You're, no let's, we'll just we'll just just take the take the one or what is the damage on the spear? Um, the spear does one. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Cool. So the Manticore. Manticore takes one point of damage. Takes, takes one. It's uh. It, it's a it's a scratch. You can see it like you, you hit its flank, and uh, and uh, like the the spear makes a a, a line of of uh, I guess <laughs> I guess it's it's like it's dark, so you can't really see the color. It's just like this black uh, against against the darkness, uh, and the fact that it's like fur is kind of tawny colored, so uh, it's it's slightly lighter. 
Uh, but that is your fast and slow action. Excellent. Uh, Nissel, is your turn. Oh, golly. So this thing can obviously see in the dark pretty well. Uh, I'm going to shoot it with arrows until my <laughs> comrades get away, hopefully. Uh, I'm going to try to, yeah, I'm gonna, I, I guess the only thing I can do is really fire an arrow from this point. Uh, Nissel will, uh, will draw his short bow, uh, which is his fast action, and then shoot it once uh, at the manticore. Yep, so it's a fast a action, action. To, to draw and then a slow action to fire. Good things happen. All right, so you've got... Uh, I did two damage to him. Yep, two two did damage to him. Yeah, so I'm going to push right now. <laughs> What's that? I said, I'm going to not push at the moment. So You're not going to push? I'll save all that nonsense until we're dying. <laughs> Save that for the for the final <laughs> stand. All right. So the Manticore takes two more hits. Uh, <clears throat> He's probably pretty close to dead, yeah? <laughs> Manticore, oh, obviously. Manticore takes two. <laughs> Nissel, Nissel's looking. He looks like Nissel's like, oh, yeah, we, we're, we're fine. Right? It's, this, it's is, this is A-OK? Totally, totally fine. Uh, so... Uh, before oh, we, before we move on, too, sorry, Sean. Uh, you've got to, you need to, to roll yeah. your arrows. Yep. So far, so good. Yes. Uh, yeah, you still got, you still got plenty in the quiver right now. Uh, that's your fast and slow action. That brings us to Arland. There's, it's pitch I'm dark. Gonna... You might be. You're likely to be eaten by a Gru. <laughs> or in this case, Manticore. I mean, how hard is it for 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 uh, our Hobbit and Orc to see? Can they see the damage being done? Are they able to see things like that close to in front of them? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Halfling, halfling, sir. <laughs> oh. Did I say yeah, Hobbit? we don't. Do you want us to get sued? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I am going to use my slow action. That's going to be so badass. I'm going to stab it with my knife. Do it. Yeah. yeah. It's a cooking knife, but I'm going to stab it with it. <laughs> Can we eat the manticore after? Yeah. I don't it's stab it. And miss. I'm not going to push. Not going to. Uh, not gonna push. I will save my fast action for a dodge. I think that's something I can do. Just, just, just in case. Yeah, yes. dodge or parry. Because, because there is, there is a manticore, right here. Wait, uh, that's, that's him right there. That was, uh, that was, that was probably a good idea. I've got, I've got two targets, uh, to, to go after right now. Uh, I think, I think it's, it, it's a, it's a, it's an animal, right? Like it's kind of. It's kind of bouncing back and forth between uh, between the two of you as as you uh, as you attack it. Uh, but right now, I think Umlaut's probably the bigger threat to it. Uh, so it thinks. So it <laughs> <laughs> it's all part of the plan. Uh, so yeah, it uh, it turns turns to Umlaut uh, and charges. Uh, oh my god. That seems bad. Hmm. Yep. Yep. Uh, so. I think. U Umlaut, you have used your fast and slow actions. Yeah, I've got the defender talent. So let me check oh. if that includes a dodge. Because okay. maybe? Um, defender. Nope, just a parry. I'm gonna parry its crushing charge. I mean, technically, you can, you could try to parry it. Dude, I totally want to do that. Okay. It is going to be wildly unsuccessful, but I want to try. Because <laughs> maybe I can kill myself before it kills me. I only got, <laughs> I only got two successes. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Here we go. 
I believe in you. You know it. <laughs> oh. You you uh and you're pairing with your spear, right? Yeah. So so you like you like raise it to to try and fend this thing off. The spear is not my weapon. It is it is not. <laughs> it just freaking bowls you over uh with it with its with its full weight. Uh so it it does uh it's it's a two damage attack. Okay. And it got two successes. Uh, so that means that it uh, that it's three damage because it's one to hit and do its base, right? And then it got an extra success. All right. Uh, so that's prone, three blood right? force. Uh, and then... And my, you're not to the ground. My studded leather armor. Oh, yes. You can, you can, still, you can still roll armor. Good. Come on, armor. Uh, hold on. Where is? It'll help with the damage, but not with the being on the ground pinned under it. Manticore. Right. Well, that's not bad. Weird. Yeah. That, yeah. It. It. You only take two. Uh, two strength, I assume. Yep. All right. Yep. So that would make me broken. Oof. Ooh. Oof. Uh. No way. I got you. But, 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 but I'm an orc. Oh, you are. That's an right. Orc. Orcs have the unbreakable talent. When you are broken by any kind of damage, you can spend willpower points to immediately get back on your feet. For every point you spend, you recover one point in the broken attribute. Nice. That's super good. I'm yeah. going to dump three into that. Awesome. Say, I, I feel like back on your feet in this situation is... is Yeah, figurative. Yeah. <laughs> your eyes are open, but you're still on your back, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I don't have to path the hemi on my hey. turn. That's that's good to know. All right, now I just got to break my agility so I can dump the rest of my will into that, and we'll be good to go. <laughs> <laughs> be back and ready to do things. Nice. Uh, cool. Well, that makes it your turn. Uh, you are currently you are currently prone. Uh, and there's a there's a manticore. I'm just moving it yeah. over here to show that it's kind of on top of you. Yeah, I don't I don't want to be prone with the manticore on top of me. That sounds um uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's so pretty how do I get unprone? Getting unprone. Uh fast action. So let me let me look at the at the actions list. This is one of those things where I'm sure eventually I will remember. Get up is a fast action. Is it a fast action to get up? Yeah. Uh, it's a slow action to get down. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get up. Get God down. <laughs> well, yeah, but you have to do it in that order because you have to get up <laughs> and then get get get, get down. <laughs> All right. So. All right. So yeah, fast. you can use use your fast action to get to your feet. All right. Um, I am going to. I'm gonna try to stab it again. Cause that's what I've got going on right now. Yeah. Oh, and don't forget, you can do two fast actions instead of a fast and a slow. It's just that those okay. are your options. So. Yeah, I just need like some points and agility before moving will even be an option. <laughs> gotcha. But you know, jabbing. Wait, I gotta get back to the other thing. Jabbing with the short spear. Come on. You nice. hit. It's good stuff. It's not much damage, though. Two damage is better than what I did so far. And you've done it once before, right? No, yeah. Using the spear wrong. Missile. <laughs> missile did two before. I did two before, yeah. All right. I, I, I think I'm going to leave it alone. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you feel your, your spear bite into its, uh, bite into its hide. And that's another two. Yep. Maybe we'll take the manticore down. Cool. Uh, and that shocking. is your turn. <laughs> we could do it, guys. Okay. Missile. All right, I'm gonna try to shoot this guy with another arrow first and foremost, which will be uh, slow action, right? To shoot. Uh, yes, it is a slow action shoot. 
have so many dice. Oh my gosh, that. things happened. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you want to do you want to push that to do more damage? I kind of do, but I also don't want to break my bow. No, I'm gonna leave it as be. You're gonna leave it there. Yeah. Uh, cool. Uh, it. Uh, can I use my? Do we have to? Uh, if we retreat, do we have to retreat from the same side? Like if I traveled across behind uh, the Manticore, is that an issue for me to retreat from that end? I think or, or? I think uh, so so uh, so retreat like if if you flee, uh, I I think it it implies that you're running away, but right like that's kind of map, kind otherwise. of nebulous. Uh, I think the problem you'd run into is like like passing through its range band, right? Uh, I think this thing is going to attempt to dodge your arrow. Uh, <clears throat> no. Yes. And it is. Uh, it is going to to fail. Uh, to do that, it like it like tries to get out of the way. Uh, I, technically, I should have taken minus. Uh, minus two of that because it should have been trying to keep to its feet. Uh, so not only does it fail to get out of the way, uh, it actually, in its in its uh, haste to, to like avoid being shot uh, in kind of like your arrow arcs, arcs over and like thumps into its shoulder uh, and, and it, it tries to move out of the way at the last minute and like, like just it gets tripped up uh because it was like right there toe to toe with with umlaut uh and it and it it actually like trips and like falls over so it is it is prone oh. uh at the moment oh my gosh uh, kill it and and takes uh, so it took it took one to its agility uh for failing and then it takes another four. Yeah, four from that nice. shot. Uh, strength, it, yeah. it yowls in pain and rage. Oh, Cloud and Nissel howl back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we're gonna stay, guys. Let's stay. And that's your <laughs> that's your slow action, yeah. That's my slow, yeah. And I'll save my fast action. Awesome, uh, Arland. Can I trade actions with Umlaut again, or no? No, you can't. You can't. You Once can only do it at starts. the beginning. Beginning, yeah. Um, would I get some kind of bonus to attack if it's on the ground? I think so. It's ground. Uh, yeah, I can't remember if you get a bonus to attack or if it gets a penalty Native. to try and get out of the way. I'm debating if I want to try to attack it with my two strength, one knife uh, attack, or just use my talent to give you guys both better chances to hit. I mean, if you could, uh, you know, if you could definitely give us better chances and keep yourself safe, that sounds <laughs> super great. <laughs> All right, I'm going to uh, pass the war cry. Oh, uh, close combat attacks against opponents that are prone are modified by plus two. Oh, never mind. Plus I'm going to attack it. I'm going to attack it. <laughs> Stab it with your knife. Because it's taking a lot of damage. Maybe I can, I can help. Yeah. Uh, combat. Finish it. And it can't try and dodge because because it's used both of its actions. I like it. And this will yell, now you're the leech. <laughs> and I'm not going to push that. Oh. Because that would break me. <laughs> no, that, <laughs> yes, would break my, that would break Would that break me or my knife? I can't see which dice. That would break uh, your knife. So, so if you need to, you can always click on. Uh, there it is. Yeah. Uh, uh, it would break my knife and. It and you. One my strength. Well, it wouldn't break me, but it would take one off my strength. Because one of my it was one of my strength dice that was the one, and then my knife dice was the other one. Yeah. But I'll I'll do that. I will uh, deal two two little drops of blood to it, according to that graphic. <laughs> and then I'm also gonna I'm gonna save my dodge action again, my fast action. I'm just gonna come on. I can't believe we're going ham on the Manticore. <laughs> <laughs> this should not be working out. <laughs> The ham to core. <laughs> right. Uh, sweet. So, uh, 
<laughs> so it is the Manticore's turn. Uh, so it's it's going to use its uh, its fast action to uh, to attempt. Uh, oh no! It's going to use its fast action to get up uh, after right. after having been stabbed. Like it it uh, it 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 growls and roars and like kind of kind of gets up swinging like it's it's spiked tail around to like kind of try and get people backed off uh from it uh and then and then rather than attack it it's going to spend its second fast action uh to make an attempt at at retreating ah coward that's what we had planned all along for it to run away yes <laughs> which it's going to fail at like like it 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 backs up but Arlen's right there and then it turns around to go the other way uh but umlaut's right there uh and it can't it can't uh do we get a stab at it since it, it failed its roll uh, you don't get a free attack, but you can use it. Oh, I guess it does. Does it use different actions than we use? It's not using retreat. No, it. it oh, does does a failed retreat imply that you get a? They, I think that's how you get a attack. They, it's, yeah, it's, he still gets to. Oh. He still gets to move, but your enemies get a free attack against you. Nice. Right. Okay. It doesn't yes. Count towards their actions. Yes. Uh. So the so so the two of you can get. A, a free attack. Cool. Do I want to push? That is that is the question. <laughs> I don't want to push. I need to go back and, and rest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You try and get in there, but it's like, it's like swinging its tail around, and like that thing looks ugly, especially in the dark. Neil, now you can use your pride. <laughs> That's. I'm a that's two. Ooh. Did you want to push it? Three damage. No, that's fine. For three, three. damage. Because that's the freebie, and then my turn's coming up. Uh, your spear bites deeply, uh, in into like, so it so it like tries as it's as it's trying to 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 get away. It rears up, like it, with its with its claws out and like like kind of screams down at you and that's like your spear is out you're jabbing yeah. at it as it comes down uh and there's that moment where like you feel its weight uh for the second time tonight and then its weight becomes dead weight <laughs> nice nice we just kill a manticore. We just killed a manticore. Yeah. <laughs> yes. and you are in not good shape. And so. how are all of yeah, your stats are so low right now. How do we survive? Oh, that my strength. Good. My strength is looking good. Oh yeah, you got that. Did you pump it all the way back up with your willpower? I pumped it up to three. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Uh yeah. It 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 like like you roll it, you roll it off and it just like thumps to the ground. And like takes takes kind of like one last shuddering breath and that is still uh and with that i think i think we need to take a break uh because it is 9 19 and uh my child is supposed to be going to bed for school and i don't know if you've ever met a 10 year old <laughs> but, but if you're like hey take the initiative to go to bed on time <laughs> not gonna happen uh, so, uh, let me, let me, I mean, I'm uh, a 42 year old. <laughs> I, I'm on the, the Twitch page and it's, it's showing color bars for me instead of video. Is, oh. is that for everyone else or are we good? Yeah, yeah, just, it, just me. Just across the top. You're, the, you're, the... you're good. Uh, it's, I, I thought that I had set that computer to, uh, not go into its screensaver, but apparently mm -hmm. it's not listening to me. Okay. Uh, so let me. I'll, I'll set. I'll set us back to the cool. to the proper map, uh, and it, we're gonna we're gonna take a. Uh, what do you guys think? A uh, five or ten minute break? Yeah. Yeah. 
as long as long, long you need to get the kids settled and then we'll yep. resume. All right. Yeah. Uh, we'll we'll go we'll go with we'll go with five. It shouldn't take take longer than that. Uh, cool. But uh, yeah, we should be we should be back then. Uh, we'll be back in a moment. You guys. <laughs> 